Russian spy activity in US and Europe higher than in Cold War. Russia has stepped up its intelligence work in the West and is innovating its spycraft, the Financial Times reported, citing interviews with analysts and intelligence officials. Last week's leak of a recording in which German Air Force officers discussed potential ways of helping Ukraine use Taurus missiles to target Russia's Crimean bridge while maintaining plausible deniability of involvement was Moscow's most explosive propaganda coup so far this year, the outlet said. But it was only one example of Russia's reinvigorated competence in the world of spying, according to its sources. Russian activities are as high or even higher than during the Cold War, one of them said. Another described Russian intelligence as a huge machine, adding that it was back doing what it always did. Most of the interviews were conducted before the German leak. In 2022, Western nations tried to undermine Moscow's intelligence networks by expelling hundreds of diplomats on suspicions that they may be working covertly for intelligence services. In hindsight, this move may have made counterintelligence more difficult, one of the agents said. You would invite them round to the house, have drinks, introduce the family, make them realize you are a human being, cultivate trust. It was basic, the source said, explaining how having the Russians around had its benefits. Moscow has ramped up the use of illegals, agents without diplomatic cover, as well as proxy agents such as foreign nationals drawn from politics, business and organized crime, the article claims. There are also concerns in the West that critics of the Russian government, who have fled to other nations amid the Ukraine conflict, could be pressured by Moscow into cooperation. Some of the complaints were about neutral European nations such as Austria and Switzerland, as well as Russia-friendly Serbia, allegedly serving as bases of operation for Russian officers. One source claimed that nearly a third of Russian operations on the continent are run from the safe hubs of Vienna and Geneva. Turkey and the UAE are likewise used as staging posts for Moscow's operatives, the newspaper was told. The Russians are such klutzes, an intelligence source said. But the official conceded they can also do some very sophisticated operations that, in intelligence terms, are stupendously cool. If Ukraine loses, NATO will fight Russia, Pentagon chief. Pentagon chief Lloyd Austin believes that if Ukraine loses the full-scale war with Russia, the latter will be forced to fight the entire North Atlantic alliance. Austin said this at the U.S. House Armed Services Committee hearing. Although the hearing focused primarily on Austin's hospitalization at the beginning of the year, about which he did not notify either the White House or Congress in advance, the congressman also asked several questions about how much U.S. military assistance Ukraine requires. The defense secretary emphasized that the approval of additional funding for Kyiv is important to prevent a situation in the world where one country can redraw its neighbor's boundaries and illegitimately take over its sovereign territory. We know that if Putin is successful here, he will not stop. He will continue to take more aggressive actions in the region, and other leaders around the world, other autocrats around the world will look at this and will be encouraged by the fact that this happened and we failed to support a democracy, he added. Later, Austin clarified that if Ukraine loses on the battlefield, the Baltic countries may be threatened. If you are a Baltic state, you are really worried about whether you are next. They know Putin. They know what he is capable of. And frankly, if Ukraine falls, I really believe that NATO will be in a fight with Russia, the official said. Russian MFA spokeswoman Maria Zakharova commented on Austin's statement, Is this a direct threat to Russia or an attempt to come up with an excuse for Zelensky? Both are insane. Ukrainian guerrillas spot ships in Novorossiysk used by Russia to shell Ukraine. Ukrainian guerrillas have spotted Russian ships in Novorossiysk from which the occupiers are shelling Ukraine. In particular, they took part in the attack on February the 7th, according to the Atesh guerrilla movement. Agents of our movement report the deployment of several missile ships in the port of Novorossiysk, the statement reads. In particular, the following were spotted. A small missile corvette of Project 228-800 Karakurt, a small missile ship of Project 21631 Buyan M. According to the guerrillas, it was from these vessels that caliber missiles were launched during the shelling of Ukraine on February the 7th. 
The ships are part of the 41st Brigade of Missile Boats of the Russian Black Sea Fleet. They were redeployed from Sevastopol to Novorossiysk after successful attacks by the Ukrainian Defense Forces. However, they continue to be involved in criminal attacks on peaceful cities, Atesh states. Russia launched a massive attack on Ukraine on February the 7th using kamikaze drones and missiles. Kyiv, where four people were killed and dozens wounded. Kyiv region, Kharkiv, where non-residential infrastructure was damaged. Mykolaiv, where one person was killed. Novomoskovsk, Dnipropetrovsk region and Drohobych, Lviv region were hit. In total, Russia fired 64 missiles and drones at Ukraine. The Ukrainian Air Defense Forces shot down 44 targets, 26 KH-101-KH-555-KH-55 cruise missiles, 3 caliber cruise missiles and 15 Shaheds.